so in the last video we talked about creation of your google classroom account and then creating your first class and i really hope all of you must have uh, finalized these particular steps now today we're going to discuss about these four important tabs here that let you control the entire thing also we'll be changing the theme of this particular classroom now there are two options here for changing the theme the first is select theme and the second is upload photo now clicking on upload photo you can actually select a photo from your computer and upload it here but i would rather choose a theme that they already provide so these are the several options that you have you have general themes you have some english and history themes you have themes based on mathematics and science you have uh, themes on arts so this one was an arts theme then you have themes on sports and you have some other generic themes that you can pick up of course this is according to your choice i will be selecting one theme let's say i'll be taking up this particular theme so i say select class theme okay so this changes the theme now i'm going to talk about each of these tabs the first tab that we're going to talk about is the stream tab now in the stream tab it is just like the facebook notifications that come on your screen so here whatever posts you write or your students write or material you post will be shown as notifications of course when we post something you will be able to see something here as of now it just says communicate with your class here the second one is classwork now this is an important tab where and you can actually create material for your students so here you can create assignments and questions you can use topics through which you can organize your course and uh, the contents that you have and you can order the way you want students to see it so you can order the way topics come you can order the way content in those topics emerge next is the people tab now here you can see two things the first is the teachers and you can see uh, the first teacher here is ramanujan ftp i created my gmail id using this so i am the sole teacher added here and then we have the students part in which you will be seeing a list of the students who have enrolled in your course as of now there is nobody and yes of course it says invite your students using this particular class code which i hope you have noted down for your own classrooms the final one is grade section in which you will be able to see the grades of the students that have joined your course of course this is empty because there are no students as of now in the course so this is the basic layout and the control structure that you have been provided through google classroom through which you can manage students you can manage their course materials and you can manage conversation with those students right so for example if i can write something over here which will not go as of now because there is nobody let's say a simple hello when i say post and you can see my post has arrived of course nobody to read because there are no students here you can see there is an upcoming tab which actually uh, is like a latest news uh, tab which tells you about the assignments that are due soon of course again there is no material posted so you can see this empty so now i think you have been familiarized with the basic structure of google classroom and in the following uh, videos we will be utilizing each of these tabs the first one of course would be utilizing the people tab to add teachers and add students so i hope you have understood the basic framework and the layout and in the next video we'll be covering the people stuff